everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's Run. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm doing very well. I'm recording this on the hottest day of the year. That is right, the UK is going through a heat wave like 34 degrees where I live, but apparently it's like 39 degrees Celsius in like London, which is like, bleh, it's nasty. The UK, we're not used to high temperatures like this, man. Jeez. Everybody's probably going to be uh, running around in circles screaming. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, I thought I'd go ahead and play some Minecraft in the meantime. So, there's two major things I want to do today. First of which, I want to do a little bit of lag busting. I want to amend the exploration room. Because, guys, I discovered something since the last episode. Signs do not count as entities check it out guys so we've got 27 entities we're going to put this down look at that it didn't go up it was still 27 right so let's do that again now it's at 26 and we put that down still at 26 it does not count as an entity so what that means is we could take down all of the item frames uh from the shulker box exploration areas and then we could just put down wool uh to represent the color of whatever we have inside of each of the maps so yeah for example white wool for snow uh, cyan wool for tiger biome etc etc so yeah that should hopefully increase the performance of this world quite a lot because as you can see currently the entity count is currently 500 guys and even on my computer we're still getting 75 fps but i imagine on your guys' computers maybe it's going to be a lot worse so i look over here check it out guys it goes way up to over 300 fps i'll go back over here and it goes down to 70 so yeah a little bit of lag busting is definitely needed so i guess the good thing out of this is we're going to get ourselves a ton of item frames back right that's always a nice thing, huh? Anyways, guys, so as you can see in the last episode, uh, yeah, we did a whole bunch of exploring. Here's the map in question, map number 92. And there are the shulker boxes way up there. So fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, guys. So uh, what we are going to do real quick, like, is we are going to get rid of that, get rid of that. And then we are going to place down the wall rather like that. And then we're going to put the sign on this one. So map. 92, Tiger. Brilliant. Uh, I mean, to be honest, yeah, yeah, that's all we've... Yeah, I could probably format that sign to make it look a bit nicer, right? So, let's do map 92, Tiger. Nice one. Tiger villages. There we go. Yeah, a little bit, little bit more, little bit more info for each of the things. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, we're going to get rid of all of these item frames here, leaving only the item frames on the floor map right there. And that should hopefully remove our whole bunch of the lag here. So, yeah, a little bit of lag busting for you guys. You know, trying to, trying to make it as accessible to you guys as I possibly can. And like I say, we'll get a bunch of item frames back as well, which is pretty cool. I could probably use them for something else. Alrighty, guys. So, here we go. All of the item frames are now removed. And already there is a very much increased fps around here which is very very nice now one thing i have come to realize is as we go ahead and replace these sea lanterns with wool uh yeah we're gonna like you know lose light here so we're gonna need to think of another lighting solution i was thinking of just putting them in the stairs here and just have lighting in that sense maybe we could even put down some lanterns or something in fact you know what lanterns could be a nice idea i don't know if lanterns and uh signs can be within the same space though uh-huh. Do you know what? Let's go test that out real quick. So, go back over here. There we go. Our lighting box is right here. There's a lantern. Let's grab ourselves out a sign. Can they be within the same space? Um, no? Doesn't look like it. What about if it's, like, against a block or something? Uh, so do that and then do that. Ah, no, they can't. Okay. Uh-huh. Interesting, interesting. So we'll have to figure out a lighting solution in a future episode. But for now, my friends, we have something else that I want to do. In that, we have had this area here, this sort of mountainside, uh, like this. Pretty much since the start, we did actually begin uh, decorating the mountainside here, but we never actually finished it. And to be honest with you guys, I really want to get it done because by doing that, I feel like this area would be like officially complete. So yeah, we've got some stuff to do around here, guys. We've got plenty of shulker boxes here. We've got uh, bones from bone meal, lighting, dirt, grass. We've got all of our various decorative things in here, including saplings. Uh, so honestly, yeah, this should 
should be pretty simple, really. I think what I want to start off by doing, though, is getting the hidden lighting in. So we've got the glowstone, and we've got ourselves a whole bunch of leaves here, which is absolutely fantastic. So, should be a pretty simple job, really. I'll tell you what else I'm going to do. I'm going to put away all of these item frames. Look at how many we've got, guys. Over three freaking stacks. <laughs> Very nice. All right, guys, let's go to sleep. Let's make a bit of a start on this hidden lighting for the mountainside. Let's do it. All right, folks. So quite simply, the goal is to not have any torches around here, but also have this place be completely lit up to the point where no mobs can spawn and wreck our day. So yeah, let's make a little bit of a start. So for the most part, what we're going to do is put down glowstone and then put down leaves rather like that. And obviously we need to try and make sure we get as much of it done as humanly possible. So let's get a little bit in there. Uh, we could probably get rid of that as well like that uh, I don't really think I want there to be stone behind there because I don't really like the look of that there we go looking pretty good all right so we've already got ourselves a little bit done right here uh, hello Elytra please go away I don't okay we don't we don't need that on right now go away you freaking butt we don't need that Elytra ruining our day and ruining our movements right here we go so uh glowstone please thank you boop and boop yeah baby all right well yeah this should be a pretty simple task all in all so let's go ahead and just get it done shall we ah you see nighttime is a good way to determine where the dark spots are. So I'm actually pretty happy that it's night time. So we're nearly done with this thing. We've almost used up an exact stack of glowstone, which I guess is kind of cool. And um, we're just in the process of doing this last section here. And then we should be good in terms of the lighting anyway. Uh, yep, so the lighting reconnects there. We could probably put another bit of glowstone in here. Uh, make sure there's no sevens around. Yeah, there's a bit of glowstone there. Okay, looking good. Right, we've got ourselves maybe a little bit of uh, darkness around here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, maybe a tiny bit over here? Yeah, I mean, it's eight, but still. I'll put some up just so it looks a little bit nicer, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so. Uh, oh, yeah, we need to be able to, like, get back up, ideally. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh no, it's like a maze getting around here guys. Jeez. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Looking pretty good. Do we have any need to go down there? I don't think we do. Not really. Uh, so what about around here? No, it's mostly looking pretty light there. Okay. I think we're pretty much good to go guys. Awesome. Right. Let's have a look at it from afar. Yeah, you see? Even though it's night time, it's looking nicely lit up, isn't it guys? Yeah, okay, so step one done. The lighting is in. Brilliant. Okay, what do we want to do next? Maybe put some trees in? Yeah, trees and little waterfalls. And we need to do the little uh, wall for the river here as well. In fact, you know what? Let's do the wall for the river next. Okay, so uh, I don't even know. Uh, would it be in our decorations box? Or in this one? No. Okay, it'll probably be in here then. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Oh, well. Doesn't matter too much. I mean, it's not like we don't have a whole bunch of freaking shulker boxes with workstations in, right? Yeah. In fact, you know what? A stone cutter would do a little bit better here. Cool. All right. Boop. Sweet. All right, guys. We're going to make ourselves a fence along here. Awesome. Let's do it. All right, folks, slowly but surely, it's coming together, isn't it? So even just doing that section there has just made it look so much better. Like, honestly, just getting some little bits and bobs and little knickknacks done around the place. And honestly, it's just looking really, really nice. So uh, we could probably do and put some trees on the actual mountainside itself. And then after that, we could maybe go a little bit ham with the ferns here, get some path blocks in there, uh, maybe some flowers. You guys know how the drill goes at this point. We've got plenty of flowers in here as well which is kind of cool we could also put down bamboo if we really wanted to but let's be honest i don't really feel like there's a need for it <laughs> oh dear certainly wouldn't fit in with the area now would it okay so shall we try to do ourselves a little bit of a a thing here i think probably the thing we'll do is like start at the bottom right so we'll start at the bottom so yeah it'll go down here rather like that uh-huh why not we'll have it come down here Yes, yeah, looking pretty cool. Do we want to put down dirt down there? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll have a little bit of dirt. And then, yeah, so the water can come down here. Okay. I'm trying to figure out the water flow, like, to an exact degree, I guess. All right, so we need to do that. And then, basically, we need to make, like, a tiny canal kind of deal. And you know what? Maybe we can have the waterfall start up here, right? Why not? So, dirt, 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 dirt. Should we have a little bit of glowstone in there as well? There we go. And boop. Right, that should do it. So, water, go. 
down into the water. Yay, it worked. Okay, cool. Right, so what that now means is I should be able to place down sugar cane next to it. Huh? Huh? We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so if we come over this way real quick, we can start doing a little bit of this. Boom, and then boom. Yeah, you guys love it. I love it. I'm loving this. This is cool. Mate, I've missed doing this. Just decorating the terrain. Most of the time, we're just building stuff or making farms or, or working on something big. But here, nah, we're just working on something quite quaint, actually. Quite small. And it will do the job quite nicely. All right, let's get some more waterfalls in, huh? Well, to tell you the truth, I think two waterfalls will just about do it. I don't think we need to go too overboard with that. So, should we grab out some more saplings and do a little bit more plantage? I think that might be a cool idea. So, let's grab all of that out. And we're going to try and place down some more mountainside trees. Or at least we're going to try to, anyways. Uh, so, let's get over here. We can maybe try to put one uh, just on that space there. Is that going to grow? Oh, my God. I'm quite surprised, actually. That grew. And it's a, it's a massive one as well. I love massive oak trees. I truly do. I think they look absolutely fantastic. Cool. Well, that's like pretty much taking up the entire space, huh? Let's have a look at it now. Whoa. Okay. We really don't need much more, huh? Maybe just like one more? I don't even, I don't even think we could fit one more in. I don't know. Maybe we can try and place one in. Uh, oh, yeah, that's another big one. <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay. Yeah, that works. That works real nice. Like, okay. This is epic. Cool. Okay. So now we can go ham with the with the ferns, path blocks, and uh, various other things, huh? Okay. So, do we have any ferns in here? Uh huh. Maybe not. We could probably just like grab some from somewhere or just bone meal the ground. I mean, bone mealing the ground is a pretty safe bet, isn't it? But uh, obviously at the same time, like I say, we're going to place down some path blocks as well. And after that, this thing should be done. I'm just trying to think. I don't think there's anything else. I think all we're going to do is put some path blocks in, bone meal the ground, and we'll be good. So yeah, let's do it. Alright guys, so check it out. We're just about there with this thing. But I did realize one thing that I missed out. Uh, where is it? There we go. Coarse dirt. Yeah, we don't have any coarse dirt in here, but over here there is a small amount of coarse dirt. So that is probably the actually final thing we need to do. Just dot in some coarse dirt every now and again uh, to add a little bit more texture variation to the area because, you know, texture variation obviously goes a long, long way. Oh, uh, okay, cool. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm trying not to kill myself, my friends. I'm trying not to kill myself. Because if I kill myself, then I'm going to lose 73 levels. And that's uh, that would probably be a, a bit of a hard loss. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not going to lie. I mean, yeah, we've already managed to get to 100 levels in this series. So I'm not really that fussed about losing it now. Like, we've done our goal of 100 levels. But still, it would kind of hurt to lose 100 levels or 73. Or however much we may wind up having anything over 30. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyways, guys. So... All we're doing here is just dotting in some coarse dirt around the place. Again, just adding a little bit of texture variation to this thing. And yeah, this should be the final touch for this mountainside before calling it done. And then we need to start planning out what we're going to do at the bottom section. Because we've got a small amount of space where the cats currently are sitting. And I feel like we could do something there. Maybe make like a proper cattery with little, little compartments for each of the... 11 types of cats, you know, could be a nice idea. It could. It could go a long way. I think it could. So, yeah. I mean, you know, cats don't really serve much function in this game, aside from scaring off creepers. Um, so, yeah, it'll be sort of more of a, a fun thing to do rather than a functional thing to do. So, yeah. Ah, oh, mate, I just came to the realization eventually we can maybe make a creeper farm with those cats, right? Because they're good, like I say, at scaring off creepers. Huh? I mean, I think I made one in Hermitcraft Season 5 before it ended. Could be a cool idea to try and revisit that idea in this uh, in this Let's Play here. Why not? So, yeah. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get all of this cool dirt placed in. And let's see how this thing is looking once it's all in. All right, folks. We've just got a couple of flowers and bits of bobs in our inventory. Uh, there we go. Right. Then we should be done. Okay. Okay. I can get behind this. Yeah. Oh, mate. Come on. I mean, you guys have got to admit that does look pretty cool, huh? That actually does look pretty freaking cool. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. 
this is very, very nice. So, uh, down the bottom here, this is the bottom section I was talking about uh, just a second ago. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get in here. And what we need to try and figure out is what we're going to do with this section. I could probably just bone meal the ground. But over here, yeah, maybe some sort of cattery could be a nice place. Could be, I don't know. I think it could work kind of nicely in this uh, in this space here. Maybe go a couple blocks further back with it. And then surround it with a whole bunch of foliage, right? Yeah. I can see it now. Already looking very, very nice. Right. Uh, this mountainside, though. I don't know, man. You see, I almost feel like if I replaced all of the stone with dirt, that would, like, immediately make it look better. And then if we put some vines on it again, that would make it look better with some, uh, with some glowstone behind the vines, right? Uh-huh. Right. I mean, I do have a fair supply of dirt, so I should actually be able to do this. Okay, okay, I'm gonna give it a go, okay? We're gonna replace all of the stone with dirt, place some glowstone in, place some vines in, and then hopefully, that should make this place look a lot better. Well, guys, this is what we have done. This is what I've been working on since the last cut. <laughs> oh, I'm not even kidding when I say an hour has freaking passed since the last cut, guys. But honestly, I've just been wanting to get this thing done for the longest time. I really, really have. And honestly speaking, this looks a lot better. I would honestly say that this is looking a lot better. I even added a couple of waterfalls in places. You can see we've got sugar canes all over the place. And yeah, guys, I mean, to be honest with you, the next thing we want to do is the cattery. And then after we've done the cattery, we can, like, you know, we can put some foliage around this place and then officially class this place as being complete, which is awesome. All right, so I want to have a look at it from the sky. Come on, let me have a look. All right. Oh, yes. All right. All right. This is epic. Now, once the vines grow over the top of everything, that's going to make it look miles, miles better. But in the meantime, guys, yeah, we've got some pretty nice looking things going on. Hey there, buddy. Get one shot. It's sir. All right. I'm going to go to sleep as well. There we go. Even though it's already becoming daytime. <laughs> Oh, man. But yeah, guys, we've done, a, we've done a good amount of decorating today. It's not very often we do, like, decorating-style episodes. Uh, so if you guys enjoy these sorts of episodes, then please do be sure, as always, to drop a like rating. Yes, we are ending the episode right here. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, a like rating, very much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button and ding that bell so you guys don't want to miss out on future micro content. And here we go, my friends. The comments question of the video, Xavier the Boxing Nerd says, why don't you put glass domes over the guardian farms honestly that's a really cool idea i was gonna put like skyscrapers around them but then i figured oh hey that might be a little bit too large of a project for one person in a single player world i kind of figured that's a little bit too large of a project and i feel like if i do go for the skyscrapers thing i'll just get burnt out entirely and honestly speaking that is something i don't want to have happen because i love this world i love working on this world but i don't want to be doing like stupidly stupidly large things that just burn me out so yeah i really like the idea of a uh, of a dome though over the top of both of the uh ocean monument things the guardian farms because not only will it increase the rates because of something to do with how the spawning algorithm works and uh you know calculating sky spawning spaces it, it's a bit of a weird thing i don't really know the full ins and outs of it but apparently putting a roof over a guardian farm will increase its efficiency so yeah uh but yeah guys i mean like i say a dome really really cool idea because it means we could probably put something else on the little outskirt areas of the circle because obviously we've got a square inside a circle we, meaning we've got the little spaces around the square of the guardian farm so we could probably put something in there on the inside of the dome so yeah i really really like that idea so thank you very much for that we'll probably go ahead and actually put that one into action uh hopefully in the not too distant future but for now my friends like i say time to end it guys thank you very much for watching i do hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day as always and i will see you guys in the next episode.